Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. Any quick search about art and craft will deliver some insights into how they differ and how important each one is to the creative process. This little excerpt says, art relies on artistic merit, whereas craft is based on learned skill and technique. What I want to cover in this video is looking at that relationship between the technical side and the creative side, the craft and the art. Which is more important to you? Which one do you feel drives your images more? Is it the technical side of things or is it that free flowing creative side of things? The relationship that you have with craft and art is very much going to dictate how you feel about your photography, the quality of the time that you have when you're out with your camera in the landscape or indeed in front of the computer, and also just that general feeling of self-actualization or whether you're very heavily reliant on external validation to make you feel as if your work is valid. I've been teaching landscape photography for well over a decade and I've been making photographs since I was about 14 years old. So that's 41 years, uh, which is a horrible number to think about. During that time, many things have changed from the equipment to myself, to the tools and techniques that we use, to the world around us. So everything is in this constant state of change. But one thing that tends to remain the same is it doesn't matter if you're using one of these, an old Hasselblad 501 CM with its manual focus and its viewing screen uh, and everything being manual and having to use a light meter to, to assess exposures. Or if you're using one of these, a more contemporary uh, quite high-end digital SLR. This is my Nikon D850 with a 105 macro lens on it. I can point this camera at the world and it will uh, work out the exposure for me. It will uh, focus for me. Uh, it even has image stabilization so I can shoot exposures handheld at lower shutter speeds. But it doesn't really matter which of these tools I choose to use. If I don't know how to use the tool or I'm uncomfortable with it, what is going to come out may not be what I intended or indeed what I would like to happen. Something else I've been doing from a, a fairly young age is playing one of these. Uh, this is my Strandberg Bowden uh, six string electric guitar. And it's a wonderful tool, it's a wonderful instrument. It is played by some of the best guitar players in the world. It's a very unique instrument with some very interesting ergonomic features. But if you're picking up the guitar for the first time, it doesn't matter the quality of the instrument. It doesn't matter how great the guitar players are that use that instrument. You are not going to get the results of some of these virtuoso guitar players. My relationship with my guitar is very similar to my relationship with cameras. I understand that I'm the weakest link. My guitar is capable of doing things that I can, can't even imagine, as are my cameras. The missing, you know, the, the most important thing is this space between our ears, mine and yours. I'm on a timeline, the same as everybody else, and my relationship between the technical craft side of photography or guitar playing for that matter, and the artistic, emotional, expressive side of my photography has waxed and waned massively over the last 20, 20 years anyway. So what I want to offer you today is an insight into where the benefits are of these different approaches. And perhaps you can start asking yourself, you know, where do you sit on this pendulum between the craft and the art. Would you be happier to drift more into an expressive, emotional, creative side where you're less constrained by the tools and the techniques? Or are you happy to go out with a very predetermined idea with a mastery of the tool to, de to basically deliver a pre-planned and specific result? Wherever you are, I think that's fine. And as long as you're happy, that's great. 
But if you're the type of person that goes away at the weekend and battles with your equipment and comes back feeling despondent and not really very happy about not just the experience that you have because you were frustrated most of the time, but secondly, the quality of the photographs that you've produced, then perhaps you have an opportunity to change that mindset. One thing that really happened to me was back in 2017 and anyone who's watched this channel will know that I did have something of a creative epiphany and since that point in time I've been much much happier. I tend to go into the landscape now in a very relaxed manner. I know the tools well enough to focus and expose and point them at things that I think are interesting but very very rarely do I have to rely on more technical things even using ND filters to control and manage time are just things I've done so often that I don't really have to think about it. The days of me making extremely technical photographs, focus stacked and exposure blended are long over. I just don't feel the need to do it anymore, uh, however pretty the photographs may turn out. I am so much more embedded in my emotional relationship with the landscape and the emotional expressive nature of the images that I'm making. Many of you know that I run the Expressive Photography Members Community, a private members group where people subscribe on a monthly or an annual basis and the feedback and the way that has grown into this incredibly supportive community over the last year is mind-numbing and every single day I go in there and see photographs from people who are inspiring me as much as any of my peers have done in the past. Uh, one thing that is for sure is that there is no shortage of technical videos on YouTube or technical eBooks or books out there in the marketplace. Pick up any monthly photography magazine and you will find articles on how to do this and how to do that. And I think one of the things I've really tried to do, firstly with the channel, secondly with the forum, and then thirdly with the eBooks and videos that I make, is to throw the emphasis of your creativity back at you. All the tools and techniques and tricks in the world will only get you so far. Me knowing how every scale in the book doesn't make me a creative guitar player. It doesn't necessarily even make me an expressive guitar player. It's the nuance and the feel and the expression and the articulation of what it is I'm trying to deliver. Uh, we are still extending the extra mega discount on three of my ebooks the Luminosity and Contrast, The Color of Meaning, and Creativity Superpowers. At this moment in time and until the end of June, you can get those for under £20, uh, which is a 62% discount on the regular price. I would strongly urge anybody who is looking to free themselves from the constraints of rules, guidelines, societal norms, expectations, and going out looking for compositions. If you want to free yourself from that, you really should check out that bundle because it will never be as cheap again. I think just to summarize, we've all felt frustrated in the landscape. We've all come back from a day out even if the conditions were amazing, somehow feeling as if we have let the situation down, the images have not delivered what we hoped they would. And one thing that's changed in my mindset so much over the last few years is that that never happens. Uh, I always spend my time in the landscape, loving being there, noticing things that get me really excited and allow me to engage with them, which switches my mind off from all the troubles that are going on in the world right now, and there are no shortage of those. Creativity is the gateway to happiness and being free. Uh, that is what expressive photography is all about. Please join the Expressive Revolution. Join us in the forum. Check out our learning material. Hopefully I've given you some food for thought here. And maybe it's, it's a good time for you to sort of reassess, you know, are you happy with your photography? Are you happy with your relationship between the craft and the art? Would you like to be more creative? Would you like to feel more artistic? Do you feel that some of the technical limitations are perhaps holding you back as well? All of these questions require very good answers and you are the only person that can deliver that answer for yourself. 
Thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to be bringing you some reasonably regular content. It's not going to be weekly as it was before, but it will certainly be more frequently than monthly. Um, please click on the subscribe button. We always value that. Uh, drop a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell notification. You know the drill, you've been here before. Um, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. But until then, be safe wherever you are and happy creativity time. Bye for now.